Hey everyone, welcome back. Welcome to Vedantu's Jay channel. How are you all? So guys, today I'm back to teach you physics, but not from any textbook, but from the very textbook of life. Yes, I'm going to tell you certain examples which work on the principle of different different concepts that we learn in physics. Yes, guys, as I have said this earlier many times that physics is the study of laws of nature, how those laws of nature come handy and come useful in our day to day life is what we are going to explore today. Okay, so let's go without wasting any further time. I'm going to take you through that session. Okay, so for people who are new on the channel might be wondering who this person is. Let me start off with my introduction. This is me, your Suri sir. I'm an alumnus of IIT Bombay and on this channel, I'm known as Mogambo. Why am I called Mogambo? Is because when you will crack this examination of J or maybe need Mogambo Kushoga. Okay, people. So I have those 10 examples to teach you, to tell you, not exactly to teach you, but actually to make you look around you. But before that, I have a surprise to disclose. So guys, this is 26th of July, right? Three, four days from now, we are going to have a personality who is playing a mathematician wizard Shakuntala Devi in a movie by the same title which is coming very soon on one of the OTT platforms. Yes guys, so without wasting any further time, let me first tell you that secret is getting unveiled. Yes guys, in the next master talk after having uh, Dipika Padukone, now we are bringing Srimati Vidya Balan as she is playing Shakuntala Devi. Okay, so she is going to come live on 31st of July. Yes, this next Friday at 7 p.m. on your very own Vedantu platform as the master talk with achievers. So guys, if like me, you are a person who is fascinated by the math magic, then definitely you must have heard about Shakuntala Devi and certainly you would want to interact with the person who is playing the role of that iconic person right guys so put an alarm put a reminder on your cell phone set it at seven o'clock in fact 15 minutes before that for 31st of july and i am going to watch it i'm sure you are also going to definitely okay guys so stay tuned to this channel and if you want more updates definitely i would want you to subscribe to the channel as well and yes this is the registration link on this registration link, if you'll click, you'll be able to register for the session which is going to happen on 31st of July at 7 o'clock. Yes, definitely you need to register on this guys. So where will you find this link? This will be available in the description box of this video, also in the comment section. Okay guys, so you'll find that you guys are tech savvy, you'll be able to find out the link which is available in the description box of this video. Okay guys, cool. And if you want to stay tuned to all these updates, as I said, do subscribe to the channel right now and press the bell icon so that whenever all these awesome things are happening on this channel, you get to know that. Okay, cool. So let's go forward and speak about the 10 examples of physics in everyday life. Aren't you excited? I am. So this will be one of the most fun sessions to do here because it gives me an opportunity to make you look at things from a different angle, from something which we usually don't look at as a layman. So guys, without wasting any further time, here comes the very first example and that is an alarm clock. Now, obviously there are different different ways of looking at an alarm clock, but just close your eyes and think about the morning, every morning when that alarm clock goes off. What happens at that point of time? The alarm clock, the annoying sound of it, it wakes you up, right guys? So an alarm clock definitely is a mechanical machine, but the working principle which is able to wake you up is lying in the wave nature of sound. Yes, sound is a mechanical wave and alarm clock at a mechanical level produces those sound waves of definitely a very, very, very high frequency, relatively a shrill voice, shrill sound which wakes you up. This is something that you learn in 11th standard in a chapter called as waves. That is where you get to know how sound waves as a mechanical wave propagate through a medium. Okay. Second example is how a hot cup of tea gets colder. So this is something 
which commonly you get to know in chemistry but you study a lot about it in physics as well yes guys the law is nothing but law of thermodynamics what does it say it says that if you have any hot object coming in contact physically with any cold object then there will be transfer of energy from hot object to cold object in this process the temperature of the hot body will fall down the temperature of the cold body will rise up till the time they both achieve the same temperature which we call as the situation of thermal equilibrium so that is why that hot cup of tea if you are not consuming it if it is placed on the table it will get colder only colder enough that it achieves the same temperature as the room temperature okay guys cool next one i don't know whether you do that or not during this pandemic definitely most of us are not able to go out even for a good jogging but then when we look at the physics behind it the basic reason of anything moving as you know lies in the newton's laws of motion so here also the reason fundamental reason why we are able to jog or walk is the newton's third law of motion yes guys when you try to move you push the ground from one of the legs the other leg as you can see is always in air right so the leg which is in contact with the ground tries to push the ground back you apply an action force on the ground as a reaction ground applies a reaction force on your body and hence you move forward that's what you actually do whenever you walk or you jog okay okay now the third one is the working of a ball point pen now this is something which i am sure most of us do not know about so the fundamental reason before even in fact i speak about the fundamental reason of working of ball pen is the design of the ball pen itself so if you are able to see this animation right now properly you see there is a spherical small point object which is at the tip of this pen and that is why it is called as a ball point pen so this ball which is at the tip of the pen or the refill whenever you try to write anything on the paper you fundamentally are moving the pen on the uh, paper by bringing it in contact and you are actually moving that pen and in this process you are making the ball roll so when the ball rolls there is certain gap which is there between the ball and the filling because of the gravitational effect the ink flows down and that makes the writing possible have you ever tried to write upside down guys take a paper like this and try to write you will not be able to write why because it's the gravitational force which makes the fluid come down okay how about this yes one of the most needed thing during the time of summers and in general for any other time than winter is a fan or in fact if i have to speak it's actually any machine which can rotate so any machine which can rotate including a fan or a mixer grinder or the dryer of a washing machine any machine which can rotate it works on the principle of uh, electromagnetic induction and in that also you will learn a concept in 12th standard where you will have a current carrying loop or a coil which if it is placed in an external magnetic field it starts to rotate okay so it's basically working on the principles of electromagnetic induction next thing is uh, yes that uh, ketchup bottle that you are trying to bring that ketchup out of the bottle what you try to do you yes you try to uh, shake that bottle or you try to push it from the back of the bottle in this process can you think of what's happening this is again newton at its best this is the first law of motion right in that we know that first law of motion is law of inertia you are actually applying a force on the bottle but you are not physically touching the ketchup inside so when you are pushing that bottle forward it goes forward then it tries to come back right in this process when you are hitting it again and again the liquid sauce which is inside it is because of inertia trying to maintain its position when that position is vacated by the bottle moving forward and backward a bit the liquid goes out because of again the property of its inertia and the first law of motion makes this possible in fact similar example is valid when you try to clean a rug by beating it so the dust particle wants to stay there but the rug keeps on moving so this makes the cleaning possible this separates out the two objects okay 
moving on yes something from optics your specs how you are able to see how am i able to see clearly right now is one of the magics of the unit of optics this is i am sure you have heard about you have known this also it's the phenomena of refraction through spherical surfaces because of which the light will bend and will create magnification effect because of which things which were smaller will look bigger or things which were not clearly visible will also start becoming visible to you so it's optics at its best and that to refraction the basic reason behind it how about the device which is keeping us connected the device which is a must in the present generation yes your cell phones a cell phone is i would say a magic of modern physics that means albert einstein era any cell phone or any electronic device for that mat matter is working on the basis of the modern physics electronic structures or the electronic uh, circuits that we deal with okay in addition to that your cell phone becomes that more you know helpful and it 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 actually lets you connect with other people because beyond the electronics it actually works on the communication system where you have uh, radio waves getting connected through different different devices there is a satellite which is also revolving around earth which is also making this communication possible so if you want to look at it as a gadget yes it is working on the principles of uh, electronics and uh, semiconductor devices that we study in 12th standard in fact that, that's the last chapter of your physics in 11th and 12th standard but if you look at it as a communication device then that communication is possible because of the electromagnetic waves precisely radio waves which from your cell phone goes to the nearby uh, tower of your service provider from that tower it goes to the satellite and from satellite it goes to that person whom you are trying to connect to okay moving on yes the energy storing devices batteries you know that batteries are very 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 essential part of all the electronic and electrical devices that we use in fact one of the most preliminary and fundamental laws that we learn earlier in our school studies is what is the basic principle of working of any battery and that is law of conservation of energy so when ever you are trying to store the energy here you are storing the energy in the form of chemical or you can say the potential energies of the chemical or ions and then when you connect a battery to a circuit that energy is being supplied to different different devices if this battery is going to get connected to a hand ceiling fan or not ceiling fan but hand fan then that fan will create that chemical energy into electrical energy and that electrical energy will be finally converted into the mechanical energy of the fan if you are going to connect it to a remote control it's going to again convert it into the electrical energy which will eventually send the signal in the form of electromagnetic waves so that your devices will be connected remotely you know how important the batteries are remember they are working on the principles of law of conservation of energy yeah and last but not the least is this example that i have picked it's a radar gun or uh, a gun which is used to measure the speed of any object now this is a very interesting concept or phenomena which we call as doppler's effect if you haven't studied it in 11th standard so far then you might not have even heard about it doppler's effect works on the variation of the frequency whenever there is a relative motion between the source which is producing the sound and the object which is receiving that sound so in this case you send a sound signal it uh, hits the object with a certain frequency you are generating that sound it hits the object if it comes back with the same frequency that simply means that the object is not moving but if there is a relative motion then you will be able to calculate the speed with which the object is moving with the help of the difference of the frequencies which was sent and which was received yes that's the beauty of something that we call as doppler's effect and with that you are able to calculate the speed with which your object was moving so you can check whether there was over speeding or not right so that's why it's a useful device for the traffic police as well right people in fact it's not just used by traffic police it is also used in cricket matches to measure how much is the speed with which a bowler is bowling a ball yeah cool people so these were the 10 examples that i could think of i'm sure there would be many more that you are aware about so if you 
after watching this video are thinking about certain things if you are watching things around you and you are able to observe and figure out the law which is working behind those things that you are observing do tell me that in the comment section with the example and with the law or the concept of physics which is making that possible okay so i would definitely and very eagerly be waiting for your comments in the comment section of this video okay guys now before i say goodbye i want to ask you are you a je 2020 aspirant among you people definitely there will be je 2020 aspirants who are watching this video so guys you i know you guys are going through a crucial time your examination has already got postponed twice now it is so you know it is being scheduled to happen in the month of september and some of you must be looking for a last minute preparation so for the final lap of preparation guys you can come to vidantu's platform and that is our crash course so if you are interested in joining vidantu's crash course you have been wondering about it but haven't joined it yet so as a good news coming monday yep tomorrow itself we are starting a fresh batch of crash course where you will be getting 90 plus live sessions 20 plus test as a test series you will get the performance analysis of your own you will have rank booster quizzes and much more including recorded sessions the replays of any sessions which happen over here so if you missed out on the crash course earlier and you want to join now it's possible again okay what you are supposed to do for that all you have to do is go on this link which is available again in the description box along with that uh registration page for master class this is also available in the description box click on that it will take you to a new page where you will have to put this coupon code don't forget it smcc so the crash course whose actual worth is almost 25000 would not be that anymore and you will get the crash course for just under 3000 rupees okay people so i hope it will help you out and you will take the advantage of it if you uh want to give your je preparation the last boost or in the final lap okay so just before signing off final information if you are still not on the telegram channel of vidantu which is obviously free of cost you can join it you can you can, can you can come on that telegram group as well again the link is available in the description box follow that and i'll see you in the telegram as well so guys if you found this session interesting if you found this video interesting and fun do press that like button and uh, if you think that your friend would also want to know this share with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet do subscribe and press that bell icon right now so that whenever your mugambo comes live you get the notification okay people so i'll be waiting for your comments on the on this particular video do tell me as i have asked you i'll be waiting for that and i will respond back so i'll see you very soon till then take care keep smiling Bye bye